and we still have them with it. In fact, don't get me started on No Child Left Behind, because that's basically what he was fighting against, uh, t t teaching to the test. Um, Dewey argued that a test in education should be like a medical test, uh, not to compare one student to another, but as a diagnostic tool to find out what the student needed. And he said in most cases, the tests that he had seen, uh, he believed it was the tests that ne needed to be tested and not the students. Um, so he was fighting on that front. Some of his students, some of his disciples had misunderstood what he was about. And they thought, some of these people in the progressive education movement, they thought that the idea was just to turn kids loose with materials, let them follow their own kind of instincts, and then education would emerge out of that. And Dewey said, no, you have to have a teacher as a coach. You have to have a teacher not as an authority figure, but someone to help guide uh, the, the, the kids, the students, uh, and to help them uh, a long way to choose certain directions that they want their, uh, their interest and their abilities to take. So he was very involved in education during this period and uh, uh, really being uh, attacked from, from two sides and he was giving back as good as he got. Uh, but he also told me that during the during the, the worst of the, uh, of the uh, Cultural Revolution there, that you'd go into a mud hut out in the boondocks, and there'd be a picture of Mile on the wall, and then there'd be a hole behind the picture, and there'd be a picture of Dewey inside the <laughs> hole. And, uh, you know, is that apocryphal? I think it, it captures the spirit, because the Chinese people really loved Dewey. On one occasion, he was giving a lecture at a university. It, the lunar calendar, uh, indicated that his birthday, October the 20th, this would have been either 1919 or 1921, coincided with the birthday of Confucius. And the rector of the university introduced Dewey as the second Confucius. So they, they loved him. was not a very good year for democracy. Uh, he gave a talk called Creative Democracy Task Before Us, and here's what he said about democracy. Uh, and by the way, you could plug in education here. He would have been very happy with that. Uh, belief in democracy is belief in the ability of human experience to generate the aims and methods by which further experience can grow in ordered richness. Now, notice ordered richness, not just haphazard, but ordered richness. Uh, and he said that, uh, the, the reason I think you could plug in education here is he said his theory of democracy, his ideas about democracy, were pretty much the same as his, his ideas about education. They were, they were interdefinable. 